Hi, Robert Curry, getting Innovative Air Solutions. We're continuing our uh, short series on uh, air conditioning system components. What I have for me uh, for you today, this is a uh, blower motor. This is a quarter horse blower motor, 115 volt. Uh, we have several wires coming out of here that wire to our capacitors and to our power wiring. We also have these wires here that are wired together. In this particular instance of this motor, this is a reversible motor, meaning that we can change directions. We can go clockwise or we can turn counterclockwise, and it basically will be these two wires right here that will control which direction this, this uh, system will turn. That's very, very important. When installing a motor, it's very important to make sure that it is centered. Uh, in this case, we'll be centered on a blower wheel. The blower wheel will be centered. Set screw will be tightened to the flat part of the shaft. There's a flat part on the shaft. We want to make sure that set screw fits firmly and snugly against that and it's tightened. Uh, if these little lugs here are in the way, they can simply be broken off. There's four of them on this particular motor. Uh, but it's very, very important to recognize this type of motor as it, we see it has open uh, vent holes all the way around the motor. This is for, to allow for cool air to come in and cool this motor off. So it's very, very important for you to pay attention whether you have a condenser motor or an evaporator motor. This is called an evaporator motor, which will fit in either a gas furnace or uh, residential air conditioning system, uh, air handling system. So if you have any further questions on this, give us a call, 409-883-9616.